Hello, my friends, and welcome. My name is Debbie Reed. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Kingston, Idaho. Today, I am going to show you a card made with the Hello Harvest. This is such a cute little set. We're going to be using the pumpkin and the flowers and this little sentiment tag. Then I'm also using the little birthday sentiment from the potted geraniums. This is the card I'm gonna show you how to make today. And the paper that I used for this card is in the catalog, in the mini catalog on page 59. This is the paper, we're using the yellow. This paper, I didn't care for it, it just looked kind of wild and crazy to me. When you use it in small little um, sections, it's actually wonderful paper. So just wanted to throw that out there. All of the sizes and dimensions of everything will be in the link below. To make this card, we're going to be using Mary Merlot, a piece of basic white for the inside. Then I cut two deckled pieces, one in evening evergreen, one with the gingham, a little strip of the gingham, and then this is a little um, paper that we're going to actually do our die cutting with. So let me show you how to create this little cutie. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to stamp with Memento Black, and we're going to just ink the little sentiment from the set. And this is really cute. So we're gonna stamp that there. Then we're gonna come in also with the Memento Black, and we're gonna ink the pumpkin. Put that right there. And then we're going to come in with the Memento Black again. And we are going to stamp the cute little flowers. This is an easy card, like I said, to mass produce. It is gonna require some a little bit of coloring. When you use your alcohol markers, it will go like a breeze. Then you're going to take your dies and you're gonna lay this die right here and die cut. You're gonna lay the pumpkin with the die and you're going to lay this with the die. Everything die cuts absolutely perfect with the exception of, hold on. That always happens, right? Every time there's a video, there's always something. Sorry about that. So what I was going to say is when you die cut the pumpkin, the pumpkin will actually die cut with a ridge. And I do not like the ridge, so I fussy cut the pumpkin. This is how the flower die cuts. It die cuts beautiful. And this is how the label will die cut. It also die cuts beautiful. So then what you would do after you've die cut these, you're going to come in with your alcohol marker and you're gonna just color these. I cut the stem off of this pumpkin because I don't need it, so there's no sense in fussy cutting it. The reason I fussy cut, like I said, I didn't want the white showing once I laid up the whole card, as you can see. So once you do the coloring, I'm gonna just show you how quick and easy this is to assemble. And this is a fun, mass producible card. If you like coloring, you're gonna love this. The coloring on this is super, super, super simple. So don't let the coloring throw you because there's really nothing to it. We're going to lay this card stock down on the card. Just like this. And then we're going to overlay the evening evergreen. The deckle, um, these are cut with the deckle die I didn't bring those here, but I used the large die and then the third to the largest die to cut these. You're gonna lay this down right here. Then we're going to take the pumpkin and we're gonna glue the pumpkin on the card. Right here. And then we're going to take the flower. We're gonna take this colored flowers. So like I said, I use the alcohol markers. Alcohol markers bleed through. So you want to have something underneath when you're coloring. I, I used purple. I used poppy parade. Actually, the purple is Highland Heather. Poppy parade. I used daffodil delight, a little bit of Cajun craze, and uh, granny apple green, 
or not granny apple, I used Parakeet Party for this lighter green and Pear Pizzazz, and I believe it was Old Olive. This color is super quick. So just wanted to just let you know, don't fret on the coloring, it's super simple. Okay, now you're going to put some dimensionals on the back of this. And we always like to use even the edge of our dimensionals. So that's what I'm doing here, using all these little spare little pieces. And then we're going to just pop this up on the pumpkin. And before I do that, I have to put the sentiment tag down. So I'm going to glue the sentiment tag on here. Just a little bit of glue does it. Don't need a lot. And that is gonna go right up here. And then that will let me know where to put my flowers and they are gonna go right there. There's the front, super, super, super simple. Now for the inside of the card, I decided to add the little strip of paper. Let me make sure this is the right size that I had for this, and it is. Okay, now we're gonna add the little strip of paper. I always like to glue the actual paper it's gluing onto rather than the strip because then you don't get glue all over your hands. So I'm putting this right here and then we're going to trim the excess. One there. And one right there. And that's that. And then for the sentiment, like I said, this is a sentiment from the potted geranium. And I'm going to stamp that in pumpkin pie just because I wanted to keep that color theme going. And this little stamp is so, so cute. I love the sentiment on here. So we're gonna bring this down, line this up, and stamp this, whoops, I moved it. We're stamp this right there. Birthdays are a reminder that life should be celebrated. And that is it for this simple little card. We're gonna glue this down. Just glue around the perimeter. And that's it, because you don't want to be writing on glue glumps. That was a word I just made up. There's no such word, but. And then this will go right here. Put that down, and that is it. Hope you like this simple little card. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. You are welcome to comment and subscribe to my channel. Click the bell if you want to be notified of more videos. And in the meantime, go make something uniquely yours. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye for now.